Okay, so today what you're going to need is an Arduino, Dewey Milanova, and a Protoshield, or a breadboard will just work just fine. And then you're also going to need a variable resistor, a servo, and some wires to connect everything together, a USB cable, and let's get started. So, excuse my camera work here. Just have to do it a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, so we're first going to start with the variable resistor, and you're going to plug the three pins in, and it's they're going to go. The first pin's going to be ground. The middle pin's going to be pin zero, analog pin zero, and then the last pin is going to be five volts. So let's do that really quickly. And once we have that hooked together, then we're going to start on the servo. So that should be done in a minute. And then there's the last connection, the pin zero. And then next is on to the servo. So the servo is really easy with an Arduino. So basically, I use some L headers so it can connect it to a breadboard. It's very easy to do. So once you plug it into the breadboard, there's going to be a black wire, a red wire, and a yellow wire. The first black wire is going to go to ground. And then the red wire is going to go to 5 volts. And then the yellow is going to go to pin 9, and it's a digital pin. So, sounds like you're talking like bombs when you're talking about servos, but there's different color wires. I've even seen the yellow wire orange sometimes, but uh, that's the only wire that's going to change. And that's basically it. So, after you hook that up, let's get to the code, and I'll show you guys how to get the code exactly and all that stuff. Now it's time for the code. So when we first launch Arduino, it's going to come up with a blank sketch. So now we're going to go to File, Examples, and then down here you're going to see Servo, and we're going to go to Knob. And then it's that easy. Exit out this back one here. There you go. And then this is already pre-programmed, so all you got to do is just click Upload. And that's basically it. Uploading to I.O. Board. Give it a second, and then here's the bytes of the sketch. And that's it. So let's go and see if it works. And then let's see if this works. So when you turn the variable resistor, it's going to turn the servo. How much you turn that is going to be the faster you turn. So thanks for watching, and check out my latest videos.